Wham Wood! Sell me a lemon? Hello, everybody. This is, uh, the walrus, and, um... I'm, uh, I'm giving you guys a Let's Play on World of Warcraft. This is, uh, How to Pwn's first production, and, um... It's gonna be, uh, a, a pretty big undertaking, and it's gonna take quite a while, so, um... Anybody who's subscribing, please, uh, please have patience, and... And, yeah, um... If you deal with me, it'll uh, it'll hopefully be a, a nice a nice time. Um, World of Warcraft is a game by Blizzard. Um, those are the guys who brought you Diablo and um, Starcraft. Um, Unreal Company. Uh, is, you gotta pay. Uh, you gotta pay to play this game, either through uh, buying game cards at like an EB Games or um, or WalMarts or uh, or you could just buy it at the uh the warcraft site um with your visa whatever um i'm gonna give you guys a couple pointers before i start the whole walkthrough um this is like my third go at it uh just just trying to make it a good one and uh and, and yeah we'll um we'll get it all done uh in this episode the first episode i'm just gonna talk about uh classes um races and uh and yeah realms okay so uh here we got the realm selection screen uh as soon as you uh download the game and uh you'll have waited for almost a day and um and you'll want to get started but it's it's key to pick a good realm um and I'll tell you how to do that so uh realm types uh oh sick I don't think they used to have these pointers before but um there you go uh if you're picking a normal realm there's uh there's no special rules on it and uh basically um yeah you're free to do whatever you want you're not going to get jumped by anybody and and attacked as long as you're not flagged right um flagging is a option that you can pick in normal realm um and that allows uh player versus player combat so if you are flagged for PVP player versus player you'll um you'll be jumped by uh by enemies um other players uh that are you know 20 levels higher than yours and just get killed so if you're going to be playing in a PVE realm which is the which which stands for player versus environment don't uh, don't flag yourself if you're not level capped cuz um yeah it'll happen unless you're down with dealing with uh with yeah getting ganked but uh, if that's the case, I would just recommend you uh, roll on a PvP realm, like uh, like like these ones, the new Barak, Meg Therdon. Um In these realms, uh, you can't flag yourself. There's no option to do it because you are constantly flagged. Uh, in these realms, you will definitely get ganked, like over and over and over again. Sometimes, um, don't pick a PvP realm if uh, if you're not if you're not into that. Uh, if it's your first roll, um, you know, I'd, I'd suggest going with normal, just to get used to the game and everything. Um, yeah, personally, I just play PvP. Uh, I just think it's a more competitive game. And, uh, and you know, sometimes uh, you get some real good scraps going down. If uh, if you get jumped or something and uh, and you end up fighting a guy off, like, it, I don't know, feels pretty good. Um, uh, the other two realms that you can pick are uh, RP, which is uh, role-playing, and that's... Uh, uh, th th that's for people with, um, who are down into, like, getting into character and shit and, you know, talking in character. Uh, there's no rules, like, saying that you have to do it, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. That's what people, people are into in, uh, in those realms. Um, RP is, like, is, uh, is, yeah, is a normal mode for role players. And, uh, there's also RP PvP. There, w there's one. Um, and basically that's, uh, player versus player rules, but in a role-playing environment. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the other thing you need to know is population. Uh, this is actually, this has a real big effect on the game. Um, and it's, it's overlooked by a lot of people. If, uh, I think if you want to roll on a, on a full server, 
Um, I think you have to have, like, uh, previously had a couple characters in, uh, on your account, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I can roll on a full server. Yeah, no, I can't. So that must mean, uh, that, that must be for high. Um, sorry, I got this crazy heartburn, so if I ever pause when I'm talking, it's because I'm hurting. Um... Okay, okay, that means you can roll on this server if you have other characters. Uh, but yeah, you're subject to a wait time sometimes. Like, uh, every server has, you know, an online population cap. And you have to wait until somebody else logs off to uh, to get on. And there's a huge line sometimes. Like, sometimes it's, in some of these zones, or realms, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, half an hour. Just waiting to get on. Uh, so I'd recommend you don't pick any of these, but at the same time, these are the, um, you know, the most popular realms out there. Malganis, like Home of the Goon Squad and shit like that. Um, high population is, uh, you know, pretty much just under full. There's some, uh, you know, pretty famous servers on here too. I say famous, like, as in, like, people who are into the game will know about stories from those realms. Anyway, uh, medium's alright. You know, you're uh, you're not going to get much lag. Um, low is obviously, you know, not many people. And uh, new players is... Um, these realms are actually, yeah, suggested to you by Blizzard uh, if you are a new player. So, you know, why not pick one? Um... A big impact on the uh, the uh, population of your realms is uh, is the auction house. Um, depending on what the population is, the auction house is going to um, it's going to affect how much money you're making, uh, what the demand is on materials or whatever. Um, and the auction house, because I haven't described that yet, is just uh, is it's like a marketplace in game that uh, you can you know sell collected items to other players online. Um, you just put those items in the auction house, and uh, if other players see it and want it, and you other cut other people, uh, undercut, sorry, you'll um, you know make a bunch of money, real good money maker. The auction house. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it about realm selection. I'm, uh, I'm 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 just gonna pick the underbog here, a new player's realm, and uh, and let's do it. It's PvP. I know nothing about the underbog uh, horde to alliance ratio. Um, anyway. I uh, I usually play horde, but I'm actually gonna go alliance right now. I'm gonna pick uh. Adranai. Um, these guys are some like alien race from uh, some like faraway land uh, that you actually get to go to later on in the game. Um, basically, there was a big war going down, and uh, and you know these guys had to escape the Blood Elves, which is you know these guys in the Horde, um, and uh, they tried escaping on uh, on a ship that was. Uh, being overrun by a blood elf army and uh and anyway like a, a piece of that ship broke off and they were crash landing on this planet here uh that's pretty much their intro story um or all you need to know about them um what do we got over here yeah this uh this this box will just tell you uh basically what um what the pros and cons are of uh of being a Draenei or whatever race you want to pick, right? Dwarves here, like, uh, they can take on stone form, whatevs. Browse through that. I'm not going to get into it because I'm going to make a guide for, like, all these races, right? So we'll talk about it when uh, when we pick them. Draenei, uh, we will focus on. Um, they have, uh, yeah, jewel crafting skill increase, and that... Um, I think it gives them uh, an extra 15 points in uh, in uh, in a profession skill called jewel crafting, uh, where you make like rings and necklaces and shit. Um, I I don't think I'm gonna be picking jewel crafting, uh, so so that's kind of null at the moment. Um, they have an ability 
uh, that heals themselves over time. Uh, I think it's called Gift of the Naru or something like that. Uh, and uh, what else do they got? Chance to hit with melee and spells increased. Okay, that's pretty cool. Resistant to shadow damage. Unreal. It's actually... Yeah, I don't know. I usually play Horde. I, uh, I've i never rolled uh, an Alliance character and actually gotten far into, uh, into play with it. Um, so this will be kind of cool for me. Um, I'll get to see uh, the whole other side of the story. Um, but I'll also be doing all the Horde guys too. Because when it comes down to it, right? Like Horde, uh, just better. Um, I'm gonna be a dude. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be a hunter. And uh, hunters are great. They're um, they're ranged uh, damage per second class, DPS class. Um, they get a pet. This is uh, you know the big thing about hunters is they get a they get to you know pick a pet and the pet fights for them. Um, they wear leather or and uh, and mail. Um, yeah, they can uh, they can set traps. Uh, they have abilities to, uh, you know, set down traps where you can just like freeze enemies in place and uh, and I don't know, release a bunch of like venomous snakes that just you know kill everybody, right? Um, what do you get? You gain beasts of your choice as lifelong companions. All right. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying about pets. And you get to pick like um, a bunch of them. I don't know how many you get at end game, but. Uh, a good handful like I've, I've seen plenty of them and you can interchange them too so it's it's great uh, they're good at leveling and soloing okay sweet you know hunter that's what they do okay so we'll name our guy I'm a big Maple Leafs fan so uh, yeah here we go I don't really care what he looks like right now um, let's start it out big loading screen There we go. I'll let you guys listen to the uh, the intro here too. So yeah, this is uh, we're we're gonna be <coughs> popping out at a Germist Isle. It's called uh, the the starting zone for for Dranai. Let's go. Great game. Empowered by the holy light and the undying strength of their convictions, the Dranai led the charge against the demonic Burning Legion in Outland. Now, with the Legion's defeat, they have completed the desperate mission that first brought them to Azeroth. Though some Dranai were sent back to Outland to revitalize their former civilization, the majority have vowed to, re to remain and uphold their sacred commitment to the Alliance. Driven by a powerful vision, the immortal prophet Velen believes that a great war between the darkness and the light is fast approaching, and that Azeroth will be its principal battleground. As one of Velen's chosen, you must stand bravely before the shadow and ensure that your people are ready for the war to come. Alrighty. Uh, I forgot to turn off all my add-ons. Schnikes. Uh I'm gonna do that right now, and I'll uh, I'll get right back to you. <laughs> <laughs> 